you doing, buddy? <laughs> My friends, welcome to another video. Today, we are on a three-day trip on the Connecticut River. This is my second time back on this river. We just put in at the Canaan Ramp, and we are going to take out at Guild Hall. It's approximately 50 miles on the river, and we've got uh, three days to do it. So on average, our pace should be about 12 miles. Um, we've got some class one stuff to deal with, and we will have class two stuff to deal with. So this trip is significant because it's my first real rapids trip. It's also the longest I've been on the river. So it's gonna be a good time. So stick around. Pretty shallow. Oh, that's a rock, that's a rock. Oh, it's raining. Ah, it's not so bad. Beautiful Scottish weather. Here we go with the rain. It's supposed to rain until I think four or five. I showed some rain on the forecast, and then it's supposed to be nice. Tomorrow and the next day are supposed to be really nice. So here we are, getting wet on the river. So we hit the beach to check out what's supposed to be a campsite. And then nothing but tire tracks, mosquitoes, and ferns, and a puddle. Check this out. There's a sign for the privy. Don't look like it's there anymore. Well, we've arrived at the next site. I don't have high hopes either. Yes. We've got a picnic table. And lots of mud. Oh, Looks like it's open in there a bit, but I'd say it's less than fantastic as well. But yeah, the other one was definitely worse. <clears throat> so let's test the situation. Let's see what the plan is. The rain gave us a little bit of a break. It looks like it's quite pretty now. I can't see how a thunderstorm is going to roll in in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy, we got us a nice... Oh, is this a brookie or brownie? Oh, and he spit the hook just in time. A little small. I'm going to let him go. Fish on. There we go. Yeah, buddy. What a pretty fish. Come here, bud.
You got a bite? Nice rainbow. Nice. What a view. Well, we're excited we pushed through, folks, because this site looks promising so far. Nice uh, birch trees and a cedar staircase. Check it out. Uh, fire pit. The only noticeable fire pit so far. Picnic table, little sign-in sheet, and a trail to the privy. It's back there somewhere. Um, there's a nice little swamp back there breeding the mosquitoes. I got my little gear bomb here. And we got ourselves a uh, riverfront property. Pretty nice. Bugs are ruthless right now though, man. We're gonna get us a nice smoky fire going. All right, time to set some stuff up and uh, holler at you in a few. All right, so we got camp set up, fire sort of going. Uh, per the usual, it's picked pretty clean. It's very swampy back there. There isn't a whole lot we can do about that. And being on a river, you don't really want to do a whole lot of paddling upstream to, you know, just to get some wood. So, I'm really sure what's going down here. We'll figure it out. But camp set up, and uh, the sun's out, so that's cool. Let's see what we got. Mosquitoes are still vicious, but the sun is poking through. I did the REI uh, quarter dome again, uh, my two person tent. The boat stashed over there, Justin stashed his hammock here. And here's <laughs> our excuse for a fire for the evening. It's time for some fancy beverages. <laughs> No lady slippers this time, though. No lady slippers. I don't know what we're going to call this, but call it something. All right, folks, for dinner this evening, we have some cabbage rolls, some stuffed cabbage rolls uh, from the garden. We grew the cabbage, and they are stuffed with some ground meat and some rice. We also have some sauce, some scratch sauce here uh, that the missus made. 
also from the garden, all of our tomatoes. So we'll get this going. And I am going to simmer my cabbage rolls in our sauce. It's gonna be fantastic. Woo, buddy. These things are great. Monster cabbage plants that we grew. They came out fantastic. Stuff these bad boys, rice, and like I said, ground meat. Actually rolled them up and froze them as it helps keep the other food cold. Good morning, everybody. This is day two. We had some company in camp last night, I think. Raccoons knocking stuff over, little turds. But um, other than that, actually a pretty decent sleep in the tent, which it's been a while since I slept well in the tent. Um, but I was pretty tired, so that helped. And um, believe it or not, you can actually get better at sleeping in a tent and learning how to position yourself and trying to work on that. But anyways, it's a beautiful morning this morning. The rain's gone. It's nice and cool and windy or breezy so the bugs are down they're still here there's only a few of them but um it's gotten a lot better but here's here's the weather and uh where's here is the weather we're supposed to be dealing with today and the river in front of us looks like it's moving a little bit faster than it was yesterday when we took out so this is day two get some breakfast going and uh, we're gonna get on the water today. We're probably gonna try to do about 12 miles again today and then finish it, finish it out with 12. So let's get to work. Here is our put in, got started there. Did 10 miles to Colebrook, so came down here. Do, 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 do. Came through here, came around the bend. Went under the bridge, which is pretty neat. And came to this Colebrook, uh, sorry, Holbrook Point campsite. So mile 48, we started at 38 so it's only about 10 miles actually I thought we did 12 but that's all right so today the agenda is to leave this campsite 
travel through Colombia. We've got a section of class one rapids to deal with. Good little run of class ones. And then when we get down to Lyman, we have some two plus, which is gonna be the uh, hairy, hairy point for us. On the water, got some, uh, some miles to put in today, but we've got longer to do so. We wanted to be on the water by 10, and we've done that. Well, close to it. I took a while getting in the boat, but uh, 9.47 a.m., and we're moving. No rain gear today, folks. It's supposed to be nice. We're going to paddle through some nice um, trout areas and some wildlife areas. It's going to be great. Got us a little quick water section coming up here. Fun and exciting. Here we go. Yeah, boy! Class ones that we're gonna have to do, two sets of them. We're gonna pull over here. Have us a little break before we do it.
awesome. Got a Italian burrito here. Tortilla, a Genoa salami, hot soppressata, and Roma tomatoes from the garden. Good stuff. <laughs> guys if anybody finds this phone know that it was a good trip to this point we got what's labeled as a class one section ahead of me and uh, it looks it looks pretty uh, sketchy on some parts but ain't no turning back now so here we go Thank you, baby Jesus. Oh boy. Well guys, that was interesting. Uh, we just pulled over for a water break, thinking we had a set of class one rapids left before we had to, you know, be really concerned about Lyman Falls. It's marked as a hazard on the map. Uh, you're supposed to run it, uh, line it or run it river left or carry around it. So apparently it's an old breach dam and they crushed it or something and there's I don't know rebar in the water or some damn thing but uh, so we were paying attention to the GPS or so we thought and as it turns out we we're getting ready to run a set of what we thought were class one rapids and it was the rapids at Lyman Falls so we ran right through the area that we were supposed to be a little bit more careful about so if you're if you do this section of river uh, when you get even remotely close to that, be very careful and pay attention because it is not marked in the least bit. No sort of signage or anything. So um, I don't even know if the hazards are still there, uh, but they're on the maps. And, you know, so we were trying to keep an eye out for them. And we blasted right through there. And it was crazy. I immediately was like, this is not a class one section. <laughs> But we're all right. We didn't go in the drink. We didn't get dead. And uh, we got one class one section left and then we're on to uh, Bloomfield area. And we'll see that here in a minute. So let's get to it.
So, it's a good thing I shut the GoPro down when I did because you folks would have caught me taking a swim. <laughs> I was lining the canoe up the, this is a, a, a brook or a river that runs into the Connecticut River. So we're just off the Connecticut River. I'll show you that on the map later. But we had to line up the river here to get to this campsite. And it's pretty sweet. So we think we're gonna call it a little bit early and stay here. So I think we're, it's roughly about 10 miles we did today. So let's see what we got. So that's the Connecticut River down there. We lined up here and we got our boats here. It's beautiful, you know, waterfront property we've got here. Nice stairs that go up and go up into the campsite. This is the site that's at Devonville Landing. There's a little bit of road noise, but here later on tonight, you probably won't hear much of that. Plenty of room for a couple of tents. Nice little fire pit. Random guy looking in the box over there. Um, but it's pretty sweet. There's a little bit of wood left here too, so. Well, we're gonna wrap it up and uh, set up camp here and hang out. There's a general store across the road if you needed to resupply or grab anything. I'm gonna get my wet clothes off and dry them in the sun and uh, hydrate. Hydrating. We're on a section of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. Pretty cool. So, I just ventured off of the, uh, off the site to these signs here. The site's down there by the road. I'm just gonna take a walk. There's a country store on the map. I don't know how far it is, but I'm gonna check it out. And just for the hell of it, see what it's like. Hell of a view. It's a pretty cool little general store. I got the essentials. A couple of ginger beers, a bag of ice, and some cold smoked slab bacon. <laughs> yeah, buddy, <laughs> this is cool. Cherry peppers from the garden. Tomatoes from the garden. Portugal pepper from the garden.
pickled cabbage, pickled and dehydrated in the garden. Nice. Garden tomatoes and peppers. I ate all of that. Every single last little bit. And I'm not even ashamed. Get delicious. That is eating good and delicious. This is going to be fantastic. Good morning, folks. Um, just taking a couple casts by the river. It's pretty cool down here. There's a fog, a mist on the water. And it's a little chilly this morning. Um, we're gonna get up, probably get some breakfast going. I'm gonna change out the tackle today, try some different, different tactics. Because yesterday didn't go well. First day went well. Yesterday, for some reason, got a lot of followers. No biters, so we'll uh, try something new here. Bridge is pretty cool looking. This is my little DIY baler slash funnel that I made for my silver squeeze. This little adapter. Thank you to the folks that maintain the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. It's nice to be able to have facilities while you're camping. And that one was pretty nice. So if you see the video, appreciate it.
Bon voyage. Yeah, buddy. Come here. Finally. Good size. All right, bud. Yes. It's a little small, but I, it's a trout. You know, like sometimes you doubt yourself. You're like, should I continue to learn how to play the piano? I, I thought I was losing it. I think I got one, guys. I think we got a fish on here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. What do we got? Nice brown trout. Nice. Another brownie, folks. So awesome. Pretty fish. This is a busy section right here, I can tell. I can feel it. Oh yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish, boys and girls. Oh no. It's a creek chub, uh, fall fish, sorry. Fall fish. Hot shad action. Fall fish. Let's see if I can scoot over there. Eh, right side it is, my bad. Straight through. Royal X for the win. Yeah, right in the gills. Oh, I guess I don't have a choice now. It wasn't a lot of blood. He'd probably be okay. Another little brownie. Well, we stopped for a break. A nice little island here, and uh, having me an Al Cacino. Tristan brought these along and was kind enough to donate one to the Jimmy Fund. And uh, <laughs> just taking a break, enjoying the view. It's a hell of a view. Check it out.
couple of islands here. Well, three on the map. Done a couple miles probably, but we've still got several left to go. So short break and then on the water, probably take a little break from fishing. And get some uh, get some miles down and then maybe resume the uh, fish catching activity. So cheers, have a good day. That was amazing and probably the coldest water I've ever swam in. But it was nice and probably necessary. But we've it's already 1.30 though, and we've got I don't know, I think it was only like three and a half, four miles or something like that down. We've got some paddling to do. So we are going to take a little fishing break and keep cruising for a little while. But the bath was nice, it felt amazing. It's also a nice reminder of how you can quickly get into trouble on these rivers. Had we gone in the drink, <laughs> what are you doing back there, Crash? That You're gonna regret that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyways, these rivers can quickly put you in a bad place. So always be respectful because they're going to win every time. Hell of a view. Well, kids, I was super excited. We had another fish on. We got one of these damn fall fish again. I spent like two days calling these things shads the last time, and I don't think that they are. Back you go, you slimy bastard. Home for the night. All right, folks, here she is, the Samuel Benton campsite. If you've been following me for a while, you've already seen it, but in the event you haven't, See what she got. It's an awfully nice staircase. Heading up to the site. Very clearly marked. This is what you walk up to. Tell me that's not freaking cool. Super nice uh, privy. Such a beautiful sight.
All right, kids, it's time for a little map recap. This was last night's campsite, Holbrook Point, mile 48. And we cruised through here. The covered bridge was pretty sweet. And then we went all the way down here. Lyman Falls was where we were supposed to do the carry or lining around the breached dam. It's right here in red letters that it's a hazard. There was absolutely no markings in this area, so watch yourself there. Continued here and stayed in Boomfield. The Belknap, Belknap campsite was last night's campsite. This is where I stopped at the uh, good old general store. And now um, we are on to the next stretch of river. So we left Bloomfield and we cruised all the way down here past that trestle. Past this, the bridge that we went by with the osprey nest on it. And here we sit at Samuel Benton campsite. Tomorrow, the takeout's at Guildhall. It's about nine miles and some windy business right here. Time to set up camp, drink some beer. Word. Word. This is dehydrated cabbage from the garden. We're gonna to toss that in the boiling water. Got a bit of rice left. Add that to the mix. Yeah, buddy, let that cook up. Probably need a little bit more water. Not a goddamn thing. A little dollop of butter. That was smooth. A little DIY catch all seasoning. This dude's been holding out on me. He said, I got you. And I was like, what? He said, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Turns out he does. Yeah, boy. Got you. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Look at this, man. This is so sexy right now. Cabbage, rice, butter. This is how we roll. Come on now. Okay, I've had enough. You know what? Let's just go, let's just go all in here. Oh yeah. <coughs> Bob's your uncle, you got a picnic table tuna burrito. Look at that. Good morning, everybody. It's about 7.30. We're up and at them. Because today's the day we have to paddle out. Um, we've got about 10 miles ahead of us. So getting a little bit of an earlier start today. Both of us just did like V8s and stuff. <clears throat> no uh, breakfast. We'll get on the water and um, get going and then stop for lunch is, is the plan. So 
right now we're just packing up and cleaning up camp and then we'll get out of here and I will talk to you at that point we'll uh, let you know how the water is looking it's pretty pretty foggy you can see behind me in the field it's pretty wild there's a lot on the water too so pretty cool though. Sometimes when you do this stuff, you forget to look behind you and you miss all sorts of incredible, uh, miss all sorts of incredible views. It's unbelievable. And you'd never see it if you didn't stop and turn around. Pros, that doesn't look all that scary. It's a drop off is the problem. It'll put your nose down and then that's it. <laughs> 